Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be trying some, well, something we've already done yesterday, but we're going to be trying it again because you guys seem to really enjoy it. Whenever there's new skins out, we're going to be trying to play it in Power League. So, now in today's video, we're going to try and play with Brother Bow or Supreme Bow or, uh, I don't, know, I don't want to pronounce that one. I'm going to butcher it. So, I'm not even going to try. I know you guys are going to laugh straight away, but one of the new Warrior skins, we're going to be trying out in Power League and getting a win. Of course, we're not going to just go in there and play Grom on like a stupid map. We wanted to try and play off meta things. So, you guys kind of know how you can play these niche brawlers. But, of course, if you think about uh, buying anything in the shop, use the code SPEND. That would be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's hop into it. Alright guys, jumping into the first again, then we've got Hot Zone Ring of Fire. Of course, they have first pick, so straight away we want to be banning Lou and Charlie, hopefully. Those are the two brothers that you just definitely need to get rid of. And what we're going to be playing is either Grom or Bo. And it's actually a really good chance, because both of the brothers are decent. Like, Grom isn't the best on this map, but Bo definitely is pretty good. And especially... If they go a meta bro, oh, I would have liked to have been towards the end of the draft because Bo is actually fantastic counter to a lot of the good brawlers on this map. I see a lot of like uh, B, for example, I see a lot of 8 bit, I see a lot of Pam. And Bowie literally is the best counter to pretty much all of those brawlers. So well, uh, against Piper in the mid, you know what? It's not the worst completely, but we're going to go with the Bow. Again, my teammates might be a little bit mad at me for it, but we're just going to have to go ahead and do it, unfortunately. The thing is about Power League. Like, you guys probably watch my Power League streams a lot, or if you haven't, anyways, like, uh, sometimes, unless it's the most ridiculous thing, like, Egg Goron shooting star, a lot of times, I don't mind too much, like, I might rage a little bit, but as long as they're trying and not giving up, I don't actually mind what the person goes, because for whatever reason, they might have a particular idea in their head, uh, but obviously, if they, they play completely trash, and, you know, it, it's a terrible pick as well, I will trash on them, so... Yeah, that's kind of what I was leading to yesterday's video. I don't know. Like, I felt like I weren't playing the best Frank, but it wasn't that bad that people had to give up and shoot in the corner. Like, I've not had that response in a while. It's just funny that I caught it on camera. But we're going to be trying Bo. Bro, pretty decent. They go with the call, which isn't really the best for both of us here. So, don't know where to really go with that one. I might put on the vision. Actually, no. Vision gear is not really a great idea on this map depending on what it goes the last brother the thing is they can't really go an aggressive pick now because we've got the bow and the spike to counter out uh counter that out if i was them they go with leon i don't know about all that leon uh leon's decent against me to be fair i've got three pretty terrible matchups but we have last pick hopefully okay fang is a very very good pick into this i definitely agree with that one if He's a decent fang. He should be able to carry us pretty easily. Hopefully, he switches over for... Actually, no, Speak is decent on this map. All right. I, I'm happy with our, our draft right here. I'm not too uh, mad about it. The thing is, as well, I've just got to get so much of a zone percentage. And it's just down to my teammates to try and pinch them in the lanes and whatever else. I'm just scared of his Piper because, of course, Piper just claps Bow at a minute. The reason why Bow just sucks in the meta is because so many other mids just clap him. Like, every long-range brawler as well claps him. Just everyone claps Bow. But this skin, by the way, I've this is the like, first time I think I've got the chance to play it. It's absolutely insane. It actually, I think, is my favorite skin in the game right now. Like, that is a big kind of call to make. But oh, the attack animation is just so sweet. I just wish Bow was a little bit better because I'd be playing this brawler all the time if it was for this skin. Oh, no, I just can't. I, tears in my eyes with this skin. Honestly, they did insane with his skin we should be able to take down bro spike just huh how much damage did he just do he just melted him if needs be we can use a gadget to tank piper shots this is why i like the totem against piper specifically but they're trying to activate the mines here don't think cole did a great job of doing just that so we're gonna put some mines on the right hand side the reason i'm doing that is because leon's lollipop drop is oh, okay no he hasn't got any left that was a dumb dumb decision but we're not really got the best of leads right now. But we're doing good. Getting a lot of zone percentage. Bo is a lot better than Frank in the meta. Like Frank is basically... Oh, okay. Oh, Leon's just ran over the mines. Great. We shall take that. But yeah, Frank literally is only good, I would say, maybe on like Brawl Or if the uh, enemy team haven't got enough DPS, then Frank can be good. Or like a counter to Rose. So it's just like three scenarios in the entire game where I would consider going to Frank. And consider that with 73 brawlers in the game right now. That is kind of insane. But I'm just vibing right now. We're managing 
to do a fantastic job so far. Kind of surprising considering I second picked a bow. But, oh, okay, that is some... Ah, I felt like I could have easily killed the Piper there. I don't think Piper knows about that mine. Hopefully that connects onto her. Okay, this is a dangerous position we're in though at the moment. I need to try at least help out someone. I've still got two gadgets left as well. I'm going to use a gadget to tank Piper. Shot Fang with a great takedown there. We can just put the mines on the middle. And this should be the win for us. Literally 1% left. Wow, I don't know how the Leon didn't kill that Fang. And things are going swimmingly so far. I'll have to say uh, swimmingly, yeah. Uh, I'm going to regret saying that, aren't I? I? I need to come up with some funnier phrases. But like One thing that makes me laugh, if you guys watch Bobby on Twitch, he always laughs at what Ark and Trav say when they're casting. Like, he, he always laughs at the British culture. I should just be like, oh my goodness. A bottle of water. Bro's just waffling right now. I'm, I'm having fun with Power League for now because there's no hypercharge brawlers you know no hypercharge i start to like the game a little bit but those, those shots look like they hit piper is going so aggro now ah okay i i was vibing too much wasn't i have i just need to stop waffling and actually focus 30 percent down is horrible and as piper is just tapping me piper can just two tap me easily i think which is just Kind of crazy to think about. Both of these guys throwing it in. Oh, oh, I thought I could survive that one, but Fang is doing a fantastic job there. Already 50%. No, we need to focus up right now, right? I need to put this gadget down and do a much better job. Finally, we got some bow mines. Is that my first set of bow mines? Well, I've been playing terrible. Never again. Am I talking about being British? That's obviously the jinx in the end. Okay, Spike can kind of tank for me here whilst I heal up. He's got to deal with his carbo, so I'm going to push forward and try and help our Fang with this Leon. Okay, Carl is in behind, but we're just going to ignore him for now. Because we've got some Bowmines that might be able to help us. This Fang is doing work for us right now. We absolutely love it. And now we're starting to claw back a lot of percent that we missed out on. Leon somehow sneaks around that mine, which I don't know if that was a bad placement for myself, but I just did not think that would be able to um, happen. Piper with a nice snipe there. We've still got one more bow mine. She might trip over it if we just continue to shoot that way. Oh no, Leon. Carl doesn't trip over that mine. They're slowly getting the percentages away. We kind of need to get into this zone as quickly as possible. Ah, no. The Carl gadget as well. That's pretty much over unless Fang can make a pop-off play. Yeah. I don't know what went... Oh yeah, I know what went wrong actually. I was about to say, what went wrong? What went wrong is bro is waffling and I'm just getting beamed by the piper i need to at least cycle my mind a lot quicker all right i need to focus up here i thought this was going to be an easy win but it's just never the case in power league i literally said at the end of the first round disappointed in myself disappointed all right time to focus up no more no more messing about it's just as soon as piper taps me once it makes me just retreat because the amount of damage she just puts out but she was pretty weak i should have just pushed her anyway Okay, I'm, I'm one tap of ball now, so I need to heal up. No matter what. Maybe I can catch it from... Some, yeah, it's nice. Just needed that to um, get some mines down. Nice, okay. Is she using the other gadget? This whole time I'm thinking she can use a curveball, but I don't think she's actually got it because, of course, we have a fang. But I shouldn't be so worried about being finished off because Piper has not back, clearly. She's going to go over the mine now. She actually doesn't jump in time, so we can put some new mines down in the middle. I'm always just going to put them down in the middle from now on because Leon, I don't want him to sneak onto me. Somehow, we haven't really got that big of a lead, but it doesn't matter. Fang's going to pop off here. I'll be able to finish off the kill. Nice, nice, nice. Call with the gadget. Good save from the Fang. I definitely needed that. And now we can just heal up whilst Leon comes close. Mine's going to get him. We can cycle some more mines. We're just going to throw that one forward. Spike is going to force Piper to move forward straight into my shots. And this is just beautiful. It's poetry. I'm literally casting my game right now because of how beautiful we're playing. That mine doesn't get the Piper, though. They wasted all of his ammo, so you know what? We're going to 1v1 him. Okay, no, this 1v1 isn't a good idea. But we're getting a lot of percentage. I don't know why he hasn't killed me. Like, why didn't he just kill me there? I've got so much percentage because he just wanted to keep his super. 
but we should be able to stay on the zone for quite a while here. Oh, just a little bit of percentage left, and that's going to be Fang easily collecting that last percentage. And that was beautiful. That was poetry. That was Bo at his best. I got very lucky there. That was my first game of Power League, and I was able to get Bo's best map by far. So that's going to be the first game right there. Absolutely beautiful. I'm not too sure which one, whether that's Supreme or Brother Bo. I think it's Supreme. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the first game. Let's hop into the next one. All right, guys, jumping into the second game then. We've got Dueling Beatles. I think we've got X3 on our team, who's a good player. So we take that. And they had last pick, so I was looking to ban a lot of throwers. Uh, my teammate already banned Sprout, so that's a good one. Barley. Even though most people actually first pick Barley on this map, I just hate fate sim throwers on this map. So we'll go with a Pam first pick, which... I know Pam is very good in hot zone, but the thing is, there's just a lot of counters to her. Just like this Jesse pick and a Vago collect, we're pretty screwed. Okay, we we'll go with a squeak instead. So we kind of need a wall break ourselves. Like Chuck, I'm not confident I'll go on Chuck, so I'm thinking of collect instead. I don't know. Actually, Chuck could be. No, what? I like what he's cooking. I think Chuck could be pretty. I'm a terrible Chuck, but I think Chuck against Squeak is actually pretty good. I don't know about the chest though. That is very questionable. At least good chest is decent on hot zone. I mean, I can't really say anything other than that. This could have been a perfect bow game. I could have gone the bow again. I just realized I could have gone bow. Damn it, rip. I mean, extra is going to pick Bell. Uh, one thing I have seen though, I've seen a lot more Chuck, by the way. I've been watching some scrims. I saw Crazy Raccoon go Chuck a lot in heist and it really worked. I've seen a few teams go Chuck on split and a few other hot zone maps so chuck is viable so that's one thing to consider i don't think we need the fourth post whatsoever so we're going to swap over to this one instead uh do we need that i guess that could be good but we're still going to go ghost train just in case we're kind of trapped behind a wall we want to pop, pop our gadget and get into the zone so i guess what i just need to do literally just put a triangle in the zone and that's going to be pretty good like I'm playing Chuck and I don't even know how to play him in a hot zone. This is just it's a recipe for disaster, but at least you guys can learn learn with me. So I'm getting close to my first post here. I guess we'll just put it as a little Illuminati triangle. Exactly. It's going to take us a while to get into the game. But once we get these posts set up, we're doing pretty good. So of course we're going to lose the beginning of the game. We're against the squeak. We're against... Uh, we've got a Chuck literally with a worst starting brawler you can possibly get. And we're up against probably the best. So Jesse turret here. We're just going to manage to take that down with our super. And now we're in the perfect position. This is just absolutely beautiful. We can just keep zooming across the map whenever we want. Um, that was not planned. I'm very dumb. What on earth have I just done? That was very, very bad. So now it's going to take us a little while. Pop our gadget here. Get back into the zone with Squeak. I'm just going straight for the Jesse. Wow. Okay. Now we need another super. Quick, 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 quick. We need another super to re-amend it. Okay. No, that didn't amend it. Huh? Why didn't I amend it? I'm really confused. We can kill the Jesse here, though. Nice. Should be able to... Nice, nice. This is doing good. Get down a Maisie as well. Maybe this is the one that... Gets back to the triangle. Finally, we've got the triangle back. So it took us 10 years. And now we can just pop our gadget and wait for the squeak to go forward and take him down. Okay, Chuck is actually disgusting on this map. Like This whole time, I've really underrated on this map. Sometimes I think he's overrated. Sometimes I think he's underrated. I think you've just got to get the right matchup. I think that is what I'm saying. So I've still got one more gadget left here. I can use it just to go straight in and get his back some pressure. I think that's the best thing about Chuck. Is that you can just bypass any sort of turret, any thrower, any squeak gadget, and get yourself straight back into the mid. So nice plays from our Pam and Bell so far. We can just walk straight back into the zone and look to try and chain off another super. Okay, no, not yet. Okay, 40 seconds left. You know, this has been a very long hot zone game. But once we get our next super here, we should just be able to fly straight on in and take some of these guys down. Another super. And look at the amount of um, tanking I can do because I get that damage reduction. Oh, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Is that not going to be enough? No, surely not. Surely not. No. We actually just lost. We lost like that. Oh. 
I, uh, I felt like we was in full control that entire time, but we just kept dying too much towards the end. All right. Again, I need to focus up. I'm waffling too much. I think me messing up one of the posts at the beginning of the game really did fall behind my plans. But it's because I've got to pop the gadget, so I'm going to play a post right there. You know what? Oh, okay. I meant to just zoom to that first one. It's all good. Got a, um, our other post here. And now we can go in once we heal up. So 20 seconds down. Again, not ideal, but just how it be against Squeak. But we managed to get some good damage onto the Squeak there. And if we can stay alive, we're looking good right now. We're looking good. So just going to go down here. I'm just going to zoom back and try and get into this Pam turret. They seem a little bit dumb, but Pam just heals us so much. But it's never a dumb idea. So I used super there. Didn't really get much value, but just me getting the damage reduction is just pretty good. I'm going to use it here to get some damage reduction, which didn't really work out too much. But look at the percentage we just caught back on. And now I can pop my gadget. Get straight back into the action here. I'm just going to use it now. Oh, I don't know how I didn't connect onto the squeak there, but managed to get Maisie and the squeak. This is just beautiful. Chuck is just so cheesy, and I love it. I don't know how I didn't just kill the Jessie there. Managed to get her down finally. We can heal up whilst our teammates get more zone percentage. Squeak is so annoying, though. That's so annoying. We're just going to zoom here and just get clipped so much by the squeak. He, he is getting so much damage. It's insane. Okay, now I've got to wait for... A super Jesse turret is very annoying. We've got a gadget here. We're gonna wait for Maisie to come close. I'm gonna use another super here. Get the squeak as well. And I'm just spamming supers to try and stay alive. Hopefully we can get that Jesse. Wow, that Jesse turret turret was painful. But now we've got a good lead. I'm gonna go back. Let's try and heal up. I'm just gonna get a lot of percentage there. I'm just gonna use a turret there. Just spam a bunch of things. Uh, turret. Just use my super. Spam things and we should be able to get the last bit of percentage. So that was a really good strategy right there. So I like the thinking from X Street. Definitely. Like as soon as you see a squeak, especially early on in the draft, especially on dueling, you of course either need a wall break or you need a thrower or literally someone that can go through walls or jump over. But that's a couple of ways to counter him. Uh, of course, it kind of reminds me of Bonnie in a way. Like the way people used to play Bonnie on this map is like when you get spawn trapped, well, at least Bonnie can bypass that with her super. And that's, of course, what you can do with the Chuck. So, again, it's going to be another slow stop. But it's all good. We're used to things around here. We're going to get another super here. We're going to place that over here. We're going to be able to get the hit onto Squeak as well. It's going to reset his healing. We're going to pop Gadget right here. And that's going to be easy for us to chain, I think. Nice. Okay. Literally, he's so weak. Put 20% down already. Isn't really the math. So another squeak gadget. Which is going to be a little bit annoying. Maisie's down though. We can just use our super right here to get straight on top of the squeak. And try and get some zone percentage already. You know what? I'm just going to use super here. Just because I can. I was pretty much dead anyway. And the thing about obviously Chalk is that your super resets upon respawn. So it doesn't really matter if you waste it. Ah, but this is terrible. Alright, I'm going to wait for my teammates here a little bit but we need to pop gadget here try and get into the zone we're gonna pop another super we managed to get the Maisie down but we need a little bit of backup we're 50 percent down at the moment this is not good this was not what i envisioned whatsoever pam is popping off right now we managed to get the squeak down finally and i know there's a Maisie there but it doesn't really matter because we can just tank that nice no, so i need to just keep the aggro as much as possible i'm just gonna run into the squeak i think we can kill him no we can't kill him somehow but our teammates are doing really well we need to just try and survive until i can get back oh, it's 15 percent left this isn't looking like a victory whatsoever can i get into range in time i don't think i can and that's gonna be a gg i, I don't know what really went wrong in that game i think they just waited for me to go in every single time and save their ammo i, I don't know i felt like i got star player but I didn't really deserve it too much. 3 and 13 to Jesse went, but it didn't even matter in the end. We couldn't really have anyone that could just sit on the zone the entire time. So that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you actually think of Chuck in the comment section below. Is he strong? Is he just average? Uh, every single time, I feel like he does a lot, but at the same time, he doesn't. So I think he's probably an average brawler, honestly. But that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.